Okay, day th four of my Hyson walk. I've just left um, the creek campsite. That's the creek behind me there. Climbing this road, uh, heading towards the coast again now. So today's meant to be fairly short though. I think only 13 k's or something. I'm heading over to San Dunes camp, I think it is. All right, I'll, um, I'll spin the camera around when there's something better to see. So I can uh, can hear and see the ocean, but I'm a fair way away from it. But I am heading back down to it. Got one more little bit of a hill to climb, I think. So yesterday was my first farmland walking. Today is my first forestry. So far, can't complain about the diversity of the walking. It's been great. How calm does that look out there? This feels like a, a real Australian walk. That headland down there <clears throat> is my first objective today. Uh, climb over that one and I go to the next one after that, I think. <clears throat> I think that's Parsons Beach down there, but I'm not 100%. So I'm just following Kulawang Creek. I think that's how you say it, down to Kulawang Beach. So the track kind of sidles just above the creek for the most part so far. He's a big boy, this one. This is uh, Kulawang Beach, or Kulawang Beach, I think. All right, now I'm gonna go up there. How sweet is this? And there's the track down there, climbing up the hill.
this is Sheepy's Beach. So this beach is Parsons Beach. That's my next one I've got to walk along. Check out those tilted rocks there. They're amazing. They go all the way along the coast here. So I've left Parsons Beach, I'm just climbing over to Waipinga Beach now. Uh, don't walk the whole length of that one, I go to where that, there's a car park about halfway along. And then climb up and then I'll be only a couple of k's from camp I guess. It's going to be another early day. Okay. That's my uh, Waipinga beach walk almost done. About to start climbing up into the sand dunes. And that's where the camp is. Around two k's from here, I think. In case you're wondering, it's only really 12 o'clock, I think. So I'm at the Waipinga car camping area. I just went past a closure sign that said they're doing aerial shooting through this area. Started last night. There was nothing online when I booked the site. Not that I'm staying here, but I'm staying just about a kilometre away. I'm not too sure what the go is now. I'm not too keen on getting shot at. If it looks a bit dodgy, I might just push on to Victor Harbour tonight. Uh, Let's find my way out of this area. So this is the Dunes camp. Um, I've made myself at home because I'm here on my own tonight. I know that because I talked to the ranger after seeing that shooting closure and she informed me that my booking had slipped through the cracks and they are indeed having a shooting. So I'm the only one in the park tonight and they're gonna start their shooting tomorrow night. So yeah, so got the afternoon here to spread out and make myself at home. I'm charging some gadgets. So up here is the toilet. I don't know if I can, I might turn the video off and get up there. Okay, so yeah, here's the dunnies. Um, tanks here too. Looks like the tanks are town fed, judging by that coupling there. So probably don't need rainwater to fill them. They got sinks here. They're pretty good toilets. You've got plenty of room in there. And toilet paper. They're pretty clean. There's two, two taps. Um, I'll go for a bit of a walk around, show you some camping pads. So these are the pads. You can see Mr. Roo's got number six. There's no... Um, There's no platforms here at this one. So this is um, this is my pad up here, number two. I don't know if you notice, they're not exactly flat. And they're not exactly like, like um, they're not, they've got a bit of a camber to them. And they've also got a bit of a slope to them, to them which is pretty odd. You reckon uh, they spent all this money to get them flat? I don't know. I mean, it's not bad. First world problems and all that, you know. <laughs> it is pretty flash. But yeah, it's just a bit odd. I've noticed that with all the with all the um, the, the earth plat or earth kind of pads. Anyway, like I said, first world problems. At least I'm not getting shot. Okay, so I'm at the the Dunes campsite. Um, 
so I'm just climbing up behind the toilets <laughs> to get some mobile service to give Sam a call. There is a little bit of mobile service down at the shelter, but if you want to get on the internet or anything, you've got to get up a bit higher. Um, today was a good day. I think I only did about 14 k's, climbed about 300 metres. Wasn't particularly onerous. Um, yeah, got in here just after lunchtime. There was a little handwritten sign saying it's closed for for shooting. After a few phone calls, I found out that it was indeed closed for shooting, but they'd missed me off their list. And so uh, the lady, the head ranger, said to, I'll be right for the night. Um, they're not going to start shooting till tomorrow. So, yeah, there you go. There's a few closures up and down the track. It seems to be the way now on these long tracks. You're dealing with closures all the time. Um, tomorrow's town day. So, into Victor Harbour tomorrow, do some washing, have a shower, maybe have a steak and a beer. We'll see how we go. See how my luck holds, eh? All right, I'll catch you in the morning.